Hey guys, I'm here today, of course, filming in a new location. I'm in the dining room sitting on uh, my window seat, my first one, the first window seat that I built, and I'll make sure you do that, that later. Um, trying to get some natural light for this webcam because it seems to produce a much better picture. That's why I'm in here. But the purpose of this video is to show you um, how I make a herb infused liquid raw African black soap. Now I use this to wash my locks and I'm specifying that because I do not put it on my scalp. I use a separate scalp cleanse for that. Uh, if you don't know raw African black soap most of it is made with some form of oil and I think most commonly palm oil and my scalp is very 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 sensitive to oils it does not seem to like oils at all and it makes uh my severe dandruff which i really think is probably a mild case of um seborrhea and i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right dermatitis flare up so i stop you know using it on my scalp and i use a separate scalp cleanse which i will do another video on that but i use it to wash my locks and i use it to wash my entire body and I thought I'd share with you um, this latest um, recipe um, that I have used some of, and I really like it um, over previous, you know, recipes that I used. Because the only thing that I had used in it before was um, aloe juice, and then switched over to aloe powder, water, and of course the the soap. So um, this one seems to be more moisturizing I don't have to use as much moisturizer on my skin and um, moisturizer you know on my hair so uh, just thought I'd share this guy this with you um, this video is going to be pretty long so I'm gonna give you that kind of warning because you already see I'm, I've already been talking this is the one thing I like about this webcam because I can see how long I've been running my mouth and I've already been running my mouth for two minutes. <laughs> and I've got some more talking to do as far as the, you know, the um, the uh, herbs that I used in the in the video, so or in the in the mixture. So this video probably will be pretty long. I'm I'm giving you fair warning. So let's go in the kitchen and get started.
so I can get away with leaving this in the cabinet in the bathroom because um, my bathroom is a little bit cooler it being mostly tile I can get away with leaving it in the cabinet in the winter time but in the summertime this bad boy goes in the refrigerator and like I said I would hate for uh, for those of you with small children I would hate for your ch child to think that this is you who drink and drink this now all the herbs that are used in here can be uh, and are definitely used for a safe for con internal consumption but I don't think the black soap is so make sure that you label this um, and you probably do want to keep this in the refrigerator especially in the summertime or if you keep your house pretty hot even in the winter um, since there's not a whole lot of preservatives in here uh, the citric acid does a pretty good job the tea tree oil does a pretty good job uh, but since I um, am trying to keep this as oil free as possible um, you know I don't put any vitamin E in you know type oil in there which probably would help preserve it even more uh, but that's you know the purpose of me doing this because the oilier type soaps were giving me problems so wanted to show you what that looks like and here's you could probably really see it in the bottle and you can see that kind of chocolatey now that little uh, foam that you see at the top is probably the mucilage of the uh, the plant material you know because all of the herbs that are used in here have mucilage or emollient um, qualities so you'll want to shake that up you know when you get ready to use it 